If you've ever installed NPM on Linux, there's a good chance you might have seen this message right here. So this is a permissions error that you're getting because you don't have write access to uh, slash user slash lib. And that's where NPM wants to install the packages by default. So if you're installing a package globally, then you're going to run into this issue right here. And now in Linux, if you see a permissions error, maybe your first instinct is to just run sudo. So let's change that to sudo npm install cre create react app or something like that. But with npm, you really don't want to be running these with sudo permissions. You don't want to be giving them root access to your computer. Because if you've used npm before, you know you're installing dependencies and dependencies of dependencies and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. You're just bringing in tons of different packages because there's all these dependencies that depend on other dependencies. And so even for just a very small project, just running npm install can bring in hundreds of different packages and hundreds of megabytes. So the problem is there can be malicious code on npm. Obviously they try to keep it safe, but there has been malicious code uploaded to npm before. And you really don't want to be giving unlimited permissions to JavaScript running on your machine. That's just a recipe for disaster. So you never want to be running sudo npm on your machine. But I'm sure you still want to install packages globally, so let me show you how you can change it so you can run it without sudo. So a lot of times you don't even need to install packages globally. So what you can use instead is npx for a lot of your use cases. And so Maybe you want to install Create React App, the global package, but for packages like these where you only need to run it once in a blue moon, I'm not Create React Apping every single day, maybe once every week or two. So what you can do instead is use npx Create React App. And there's a whole bunch of these for many different projects. So you just have to take a look at your project and they probably have an npx code that you can run. So you would just use npx create react app and then like you would normally, if you wanted to add a new project, this will create a new project with create react app in a directory called new project. And so that works great because you also don't have to keep your create react app package updated. So since this is grabbing it from the internet every time, it'll always be updated to the latest and greatest version and you don't have to go through the trouble of reinstalling it on your computer again and again. So that's great for packages that you don't really need to use every single day, but there are some that can't really be filled by NPX. There are some use cases. So let's go over these. So the problem is installing things to the slash user directory. So whenever you install Node.js from your package manager on Linux, you're usually installing it with sudo. And so that's why you're not able to get the permissions to write. And so you basically have to run sudo every time. Now, we don't want to run sudo, so what you can do is you can change the directory that npm globally installs packages to. And you can do that with npm config, and then you're changing this one option here, this prefix option, and this is basically just the folder that it's going to go to. And you can put this pretty much anywhere you want inside your home directory, because it's obviously what your user has write access to. So what I usually do is I put it in home slash dot local just because this is a convention that's used by other applications and other package managers, say Python's package manager, just to put these in dot local. So that's what I do. And this npm config set is basically the same as changing your dot npm rc. So as you can see, whenever I change that, it also changed my prefix to slash home slash eric slash local. So that's exactly what we want. And so once you've done that, you also need to add this directory to your path variable. And you can do that uh, in your bash RC or your ZSH RC, whatever you're using. But I would actually prefer to put it in your dot profile or maybe it's bash underscore profile, whatever you're using. I can't actually spell. But you know what I mean. So let's put this in my dot profile. And so I'm just putting the path variable equal to 
uh, .local slash bin. That's where they're going to be installed. And so you want to add this little snippet of code in order to actually make it executable. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So once you save that, and I think you need to restart your shell to make it work, we can now uh, npm install global without getting that permissions error. And so that works just fine. This is going to take not that long because I already had it installed. <laughs> As you can see, it saved to the correct path right here. So that's nice. You no longer have to run sudo to make it work and everybody's happy. So this is what you do if you install Node.js or NPM via your package manager, but maybe you also have it installed via NVM, so Node version manager. Then you shouldn't actually run into this problem because any global modules will actually be saved to your local NVM directory, which is usually located right inside your home directory, inside .nvm. And so if you want to manage multiple different versions of Node, then I would suggest checking out my NVM video. I have a whole video about this, but you aren't really going to run into the same problems with the whole sudo and permissions. So finally, you can set the prefix to whatever directory you want inside your home directory. But I do see a lot of guides online saying that you should put it inside your .npm directory, inside your home directory. And I would really recommend against doing that because whenever you clear your NPM cache, then it's also going to clear all your global modules, which would be pretty annoying. So uh, if you don't want to put it in .local, you can say npm config, maybe .npm global, or something similar to that. Just any directory besides the .npm directory. So that's how you do it. Now you can stop running sudo npm like I was for longer than I'm willing to admit. <laughs> but there you go.